Go, go. Yo, what's good, YouTube? Me, I tune in to Get Hip TV. As y'all can see from the title, we got Wack 100 speaking on a recent Diddy news. So, man, we're going to get into that, then I'm going to let y'all hear what Wack had to say. So, man, stay tuned for that. But before we get into the video, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay hip to whenever I post. But all right, y'all, let's get into it. So, man, more and more details keep coming out in Diddy's case. He already facing the charges that the feds picked him up on, but now it's been more people coming out filing civil suits. It's being alleged that more than 3,285 individuals reached out claiming to be victims of Diddy, and now all of those weren't proven to be legitimate, but at this time, 120 new allegations were brought up as cases against Diddy. So, man, I want to get y'all thoughts and opinions of that down in the comments below. But in the meantime, I'm going to roll the audio and I'm going to let y'all hear what Wack had to say about it. But Puff, man, you think he got a chance? Because he got a new legal team. You think he got a chance with this new lawsuit? Nah, uh, they got another, um, another two, um, 60, no, 120. 120 cases. He just, up, he just picked up another 120 all the way civil and some might be criminal. Dang. And some of them even on minors. Dang. From a big law firm out of down Texas. in Texas. Yeah, yeah, out of Texas. Yeah. 60 men and 60 women. Dang. Including a nine-year-old boy. A nine-year-old from nine to 15. Uh, they say a lot of, um, they say it's a lot of people. Uh, companies, execs, that's gonna be named that was like, I guess, participants. Dang. They named that they using um oh the M D R R the L R R Molly Molly that that was saying nah, nah some type of tranquilizer they put in the drink oh oh it was another name you you didn't get the clip I got the clip you want it? nah I ain't get the clip send, send me the clip Hold right? on. yeah this is nasty right here they they might want to hear this nasty shit I told you I said bro they ain't done with it they said they got over three thousand calls when they put the number up. They got a hotline number for um if you was you know why did he? Oh, I got the clip. I got the clip right here, whack. That's just yeah. today, bro. That that's uh. Damn. Yeah, whoever got audio, man, play that clip. <laughs> that's crazy. Damn. Oh, they about to they about to fry him worse than all Kelly, uh, whack. Yeah, I think they're going to give him the time and get the money. Dang. You're going to make him go broke in there, whack. Because they going to train him. Hey, bro, that's a lot of... Um, that's a lot of civil suits, bro. I'm saying, whack, they going to drain him out. That shit, whack, man. If you got audio, you may want to play that shit for your people. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me that play shit, that audio, whack. Hold up. Today, bro, that shit crazy, bro. Yeah, yeah. Puff audio. Hold on. Let me play that right now. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me set that up, man. That, 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 that right there is crazy. I, somebody was telling me like they got a a bunch of mine, a nine year old, right? Uh, what? Nine, fifteen. I mean, what they saying? So I don't think they gonna open a the door of slander up. So they, you know, I don't know to what capacity. Mm -hmm. But they saying it's some uh, involvement with minors. Oh, dang. Yeah, let me play that audio. Hold on, I'm about to play that shit right now. Dang, that's crazy. We will describe today. Tell these niggas to them, man. Over more than 20 years, there are many people and many entities involved. And we're going to follow this evidence wherever it takes. We will find the silent accomplices. We will expose the enablers who enable this conduct behind closed doors. We will pursue this matter, no matter who the evidence implicates. These brave victims who have stepped forward deserve nothing less. Biggest secret in the entertainment industry that really wasn't a secret at all has finally been revealed to the world. The wall of silence has now been broken and victims are coming forward. Our team has had at this point more than 3,285 individuals contact us with people claiming people claiming to have been victimized by Sean Combs. 
After vetting, we now represent 120 individuals who intend to bring civil claims in civil court against Sean Diddy Combs, as well as claims against many other individuals and entities that we will name defendants as we file these individual cases. And you should know, to the extent the clients feel comfortable, we also intend to make these individuals available to the authorities, specifically to the FBI. And you should also know a few of them have already been spoken to by the FBI. Before we discuss the nature of the claims and claimants themselves, let me comment on the large volume of calls we have received since our first announcement. Even before the indictment of Sean Combs, we had received a small volume of calls and it screened a handful of cases. After the indictment of Sean Combs and the announcement that we were pursuing these claims, the floodgates opened. People who wouldn't otherwise for a variety of reasons are now stepping forward to make their voices heard and to pursue justice. No, oh, most of these people are scared. They fear backlash in their communities. They fear backlash in their own families. They are afraid of retaliation from the perpetrators and their associates. They are rightly afraid for their own personal safety. I expect that through this process, many powerful people will be exposed. Many dirty secrets will be revealed. We know what we are potentially up against. And as is always the case in situations like this, when a celebrity is involved, people can be downright mean and nasty. You would be shocked at the length fans will go, no matter the evidence, to the contrary, to defend celebrities they love. I mean, there's a reason for this word fans. They're fanatics. I've personally already been threatened multiple times on social media. And when I agreed to pursue this, I expected as much. This isn't my first rodeo. But victims who step forward, their voice is heard, should not be subjected to that kind of conduct. They should not be targeted. I want to say this, and I want to be clear about it. Although we are vetting each call as stringently as we can, I always start with a mindset that I believe victims. I believe victims because I understand the tremendous courage it takes to step forward. So if you're watching this, please hear me. If you're out there and you have been victimized, you are not alone. There is a great strength in numbers. You can seek redress. You can obtain justice. Each of these victims will no doubt be publicly attacked by the alleged perpetrators, and in some cases, the general public. The feckless and cowardly keyboard warriors love to attack. We know what we're up against. We did not enter this fray blindly. I wish it was my last such fray. I wish this type of hate behavior wasn't so pervasive, but it is what it is. So we will press on. As I said, our law firms have been retained by 120 individuals. That's crazy. That shit whack. Hey, whack, man. Hey, you think Kendrick going to drop an album soon, whack? Um, I think because of the Super Bowl, he going to play it around that. Because, mm. you know, I was like, if he don't drop that, I felt like if he didn't drop by August, a month after that video... September, I'm like, somebody gonna remember that shit. Yeah. Now he got the Super Bowl. That, that brought him a little time. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking he's gonna probably between if he lets some music go, December and that February. He got to if he don't, he wasted, you know, he wasted a lot of marketing and promo. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, because he got all that promo for the Super Bowl and all the controversy over the Super Bowl. Yeah, so. We didn't know. We seen service and songs. Well, I, I don't service know. One, then, yeah, he might be, you know. The last one he did, I don't think it. I don't think it did. Hey, yo, Wack, you know they just dropped your boy off of Columbia, Wack. That's what I tell you three, four months ago. <laughs> I said they finna start a lot of these niggas. I know. They, Who they dropped? They dropped Fabio, man. They gave me the call. Yes. No, Fabio Bingo. Fabio Bingo. Damn. I was like, damn. I told man. Fabio, yeah, yeah. He ain't been doing that. A lot of these niggas that got signed, 
Bro, they restructuring the whole shit. Yeah. They yeah. dropping them. Yeah, they yeah. All right, man. So as y'all heard from that, that was Wack 100's reaction to this Diddy news. Let me get y'all thoughts and opinions of it down in the comment section below. And if y'all enjoyed this video, make sure y'all smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and hit that notification bell to stay hip to whenever I post. Till next time, we out.